Morning, welcome back to the channel. Friday morning again, we're back out in the morning, Stephen and myself. We're going to attempt our biggest challenge to date, our biggest hike to date. We're going to do the Morn Mountains, seven sevens. It's Friday the 13th, just gone seven o'clock. We left the house six o'clock this morning. A lot of nervous excitement going through the body at the moment. Probably looking about 12, 13 hours hiking. 14 mile in total. Obviously taking in the seven peaks. We've started at our car park and we'll meet you up the trail. One point one mile in behind me at car park where I started. Spin you around. Right above me, sleeve binion, the last of the seven sevens, the finishing point of the day. Long way to go. What a wonderful morning to be attempting this. Let me see behind me, it's sleeve lock shining, but if you've noticed, we've decided to cut that one out, there's no point in doing it. We've skirted around the bottom, I just came up to this stile. So, I've got my wee notes with me today. That car park is sitting at about 330 metres above sea level. Where we are now is approximately 510 metres, so we've almost done 200 metres in elevation already. Uh, we're not going to break any records, but I think someone might tell Stephen that there because he's just part on left it behind for the first time. Thanks very much, Stephen. I'll catch up and then we'll talk more in bag, sleeve meal bag. Summit number one done, sleeve meal bag, 702 metres, still reading off my wee sheet. Uh, great view so far, was always going to be a pull the first one, 2.3 mile, just over one hour, so delighted with that, we'll get a drink of water, then onwards to sleeve meal more, in fact before we go anywhere, obviously behind me, sleeve meal bag, just going to give you the full range of it here. Sleeve made more. Over to Sleeve Burner. In behind it is Sleeve Comeda, Sleeve Donard, Sleeve Lamarkin, and Sleeve Binion away in the distance. It's going to be a long, long day, but it's cracking morning so far. In the cold between sleeve meal bag, sleeve meal more. Uh, probably sitting at around about 580 metres. Second climb of the day, doesn't actually look too bad. There is a steep part at the start, but then it sort of flattens out and then goes again. And in the distance, we've got the beast sleeve burner in darkness. Still sleeping. Again, Stephen's kicked on. I'll catch him up. Sleeve Meal more, 688 is number two of the sevens. I don't make the rules. It's, it's in the seven sevens. I'm not too sure why, but maybe years ago they thought it was over 700 metres. Ask a historians, I don't have a clue, but we've tapped it. We'll move on. And when we were coming across the, the colour between Meal Bag and Meal more, we camped there the other week with Sophie and Grace, great camp girls. We're talking, me and Stephen, about all this is is just putting one foot in front of the other. That's all we'll have to do, and we'll get it done. Oh. 
some views from the water tower at Sleeve Mill Moor. I would say this is probably going to be the most technical of descents into the Palafuca, down to 520 metres, and then Sleeve Berna. Berna the bee, put whatever descriptive word you want to put in there. But we're going to do this one now. This video is probably going to seem fast and furious, but that's the way we want it today. That one wasn't as bad as a first foot. Uh, anytime we've done that, it's been a real bad day. Cloudy, rain, the rocks have been slippy, but today, dry enough. Came down there in 18 minutes or so. Followed my left hand side wall, not the right hand side. It's time to wake the beast of Sleeve Burner. We're in the Palafuca. 580 meters, I think I said at the top of Sleeve Mill Moor. Here we go. Probably the tightest one of the day it's on. Summit number three, sleeve burner, seven, eight, one meters. Right towards Doan. Binion in the distance still. That's the finish point. Next one is sleeve Commodore. And out towards sleeve Donald. Drink, move on again, here we go. Whew. Well off there with the heat, 739, the Sherpa says. Cheers for that. What a view today. Section one done, two hours, 50 minutes, four mile, 4.62 mile. Good going at the moment. We're probably about 10 minutes ahead of schedule. Bit of a break, barbecue chicken sandwich. Stephen's on a peanut butter and jam. We'll take on some water here at Hurts Gap and then we'll approach Sleeve Commoner. Here we go. So on the day's trail. We're obviously taking in the seven has peaks, but this section here will take in Sleeve Naclock and Sleeve Cora on the way up to Sleeve Comeda. They don't come in the seven sevens, obviously they fall short. And then over there is Sleeve Beg, which would be the third non-seven peak. So we're doing 10 peaks a day, three of them under 700 and the rest over 700. Well, apart from Sleeve Mill Moor. So if anybody knows anything more, more about Sleeve Mill Moor, leave it in the description. I see Stephen out of the corner of my eye heading on, so we'll get a move on. Another summit, just leaving the clock, it's not even stopping, we're just going on, we're going to follow the wall, around the sleeve comedy, we're eating jelly babies along the way, and all it is, one foot in front of the other. Standing at the top of sleeve core. Sleeve Comet away in the distance, the wee house. We'll have to come away from it to go to the Cairn, but we'll cross that bridge. 
Just look at that wall, the steepness of it, but there's a pipe halfway up, we'll get a drink there. Catch you there. That's the refill stop done. Don't think it get much fresher than that. Bit of brain freezer. Uh, we better drama with Stephen there. He's got a bit of a thigh muscle problem. As we're heading up the, the summit here, close enough. We'll get top of the cinema, hopefully power on. <sighs> summit number four done. Slave camera in the bag. Whew. Take one at the moment. There's an hour and five minutes from Hurd's Gap up the camera. From here you can see Slave Burner around uh, over Slave Muck, over Cove Mountain towards Slave Binion, down in the Chimney Rock towards Rocky Mountain. I'll catch Stephen up here, it's a wee bit of pain, but we're going to power on the Slave Donard. You all right? I think so. <laughs> In the saddle now, between Slave Common, which is behind me, Slave Donard, Hass Point, Northern Ireland. Down that way is Slave Donard Hotel and Slave Donard Golf Club, where the Irish Open is. Getting the whole way. Don't know how you're doing or anything, but good luck. Uh, Stephen's part on, as always. Get this one in the bag. Honestly, I'll be absolutely buzzing. That's number five in the bag. Sleeves down there to Hassel them all. 849, 850, not too sure. Still great views, not too many times come up sleeves down there. Get cracking views, but we've touched the cairn. We'll start dropping back down into the saddle now and get our lunch maybe at the bottom of sleeve bag. Bumped into three boys there from Galway, I think they were. Doing a couple of mountains today. Good crack, well, good laugh. All the best. I think they're coming up with more to do sleeve binning, so good luck, these lads. I catch Stephen up now. So we'll be chipping away at this for five and a half hours now. It's just Coming up the eight and a half mile there. On the way down from Sleeve Donner there, I've seen the, the lunch stop, the foot of Sleeve bag. Stephen's come behind me. Shouldn't take too long from here. Hoping half an hour or so. Starting to get a wee bit hungry. The legs are turned to jelly. But we'll do a wee review over here when we get lunch. Bang on schedule, in fact I think we're well ahead of schedule, well that's 5 hours 47 minutes, the lunch time. Section number 2 complete, we're allowing 3 hours per section, well maybe the last section 4 hours because let me tell you something, legs are like jelly. Came over to stay out the saddle, great views into on along folly, you could see Sleeve Lamican and Sleeve Binion, the last two summits, just coming past the back castles of Sleeve Commodore. I'll get lunch, quick charge up with the batteries hopefully, off the microphone and stuff, and then we're going to kick on.
Oh, good grief. Always leave no trace. Nice wee lunch stop there. Tenno look as and everything. Uh, starting to stock up in the electrolytes and everything here. So third section. I don't know why we're going to approach it, but we've absolutely smashed it. In my eyes, we've smashed this there so far. Five peaks in six hours. Sorry, in six hours, six minutes. Two breaks. Nine mile. Brilliant. Buzzing. Sleeve bag done. Uh, hopefully this will give you some sort of why I'm buzzing. This is where we've came from. So, see, uh, just beside Sleeve Burner here is Sleeve Meal Bag. And we've came in behind Burner. The meal war. Down in the Burner, up over Burner. Hers Gap. Sleeve the Glock. Cora. Comeda, Sleeve Donner, down Sleeve Donner again, and to here. Stephen's down getting pictures of the Devil's Coach Road, and to be honest, I couldn't care less about the Devil's Coach Road today. I just want to get these last two in the bag, done and dusted. I forgot to say, that's Cove Mountain. We're going to work away, I think. We don't have to go to the summit of this one. We can skirt round to the bottom of it, and then that'll bring us to our next ascent, to Sleeve Lamb again. Number six. Come on. Summit number six. Sleeve lamb again. We've just skirted around probably the mid-section of Cove Mountain. <sighs> it's gonna be killer, leg burners. <sighs> Top of the cairn now. A sleeve lamb again, 702 meters. <sighs> Behemoth. It's the last one. Sleeve binion. Two more descents, one more claim on its beat. It's home. I like the lights doing well here. Legs are like jelly, but let me. I'll show you the sleeve donard and lamb again, or sleeve donard and sleeve commoner. What I'm looking at now. Lovely. Oh. This is it, the Ben Crumb Junction. Seven hours, 49 minutes, 11.3 mile. When Stephen sent me this route, Months back, I've walked this route in my head hundreds of times and I've got this exact point. I've always been worried about it. We're starting 380 metres approximately and we're heading up to 747 metres. <sighs> Last claim of the day. We were coming down Lamagan, which by the way is an absolute slog, just rocks. We've picked out three points that we're going to check in at. Buzzards Roost the north top, and hopefully the summit. <sighs> I said at the start all it is, there's one foot in front of the other, so let's do this. One foot in front of the other. Just one foot in front of the other. Just one foot in front of the other. Checkpoint one done. Buzzards Roost, you can see down in the Brancom Reservoir up over Sleeve Burner, past Brancom itself, and down in the Silent Valley Reservoir. Next stop, North, North Tower. One foot in front of the other. 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 There's one 
Checkpoint number two, the North Tour. <sighs> Bahama, I'll actually have to have a look. <sighs> Same views as the Buzzard Roost. <laughs> Fully apologies, busted here at the moment. Summit, just creeping around the corner. That's the next one. Just one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. One step in front of the other. One step in front of the other. One step in front of the other. Seven, seven's done. Just need to get down now. Oh my good grief. It's blowing a gale here, but I'll give you sort of a 360 or some sort of views here, but dear dear. The homeward trail, here we go. Ooh, <laughs> the aches and pains are real, but it's still just one foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. Flat ground at last. Ten more minutes to the car. That's the seven sevens in the bag. I can see the car. Firstly, massive thank you for Neely and Heller coming out today, packing us up. Oh, Carrick Little. Whew. 15 mile, 10 hours, 21 minutes. We absolutely smashed that. We are sending the way up in the car this morning, 12 to 14 hours probably. But smashed through that, no problem at all. My left knee's in bits. Stephen's face in bits. Anything else, Stephen? Yeah. Anything else in bits? He's in bits, I'm in bits. If he texts me next week to see if we're going to the mountains, I'm just going to say, absolutely not. That'll be me for the next couple of weeks. I've texted Catherine. I'll need a few Guinness. And a spicy chicken pizza. So, it's been a cracker today. I'll pay the price over the next few days, but it is what it is for one of the most challenging hikes in the Moor Mountains. I'll see you all next week.